Hi, CSU Physio students. Uh, it's Nathan from Personal Best Physiotherapy, and this is part two of our four part series on what to look for in your first job. And this is to give you information to help you make sense of the current job market and also uh, help you find uh, the best fit for you. So, in today's video, we're talking about mentoring. Uh, everyone offers mentoring these days, uh, which is great because it means that uh, you should be able to learn uh, from other experienced physios. Uh, and because everyone offers it, then you can ask some questions if you're going for a job interview or talking to a clinic owner um, to find out a little bit more about uh, the mentoring that's on offer. So here are four uh, four aspects of mentoring or four things that you could ask about uh, to get a little bit more information about the mentoring program. So the first is who will your mentor be? Uh, depending on the clinic that you are working in, that could look very different. And um, that could, so it's worthwhile finding out about the experience level of your mentor. There's a big difference, for example, between being mentored by someone with, say, two or three years experience and being mentored by someone with 20 years experience. Now, that's not to say that that two or three years experience physio will be a bad mentor, um, but the, the more experience that mentor has, the more perspective they will have on um, how you're going as a physio and the patients that you're seeing and hopefully be able to guide you in that process. So um, what is your mentor's experience? What are their qualifications um, in terms of postgraduate qualifications? And also what are their interest areas? If you are really interested in um, headaches, then you know, you're going to be looking for a headache clinic with someone who's done sort of Dean Watson's headache courses and they're able to obviously give you a lot of um, information about that. Uh, that's going to be quite different to say a sports-based clinic that is more based around acute injuries. Uh, so that's uh, the first factor, who will your mentor be? Uh, the next is really about the frequency of mentoring. And I put down here, for example, um, uh, are they offering mentoring at once a week? Or are they offering mentoring at twice a week or some other frequency? If you compare these two, it might not seem like a big difference, but um, if you're seeing, if you're catching up with your mentor twice a week, then over say three months or six months, there's a lot more learning that you're going to get done in that twice a week than if you are seeing them only once a week. If you're only catching up with your mentor once a fortnight or some other sort of frequency, um, then you're going to have to do a lot more work on your own um, to get up to speed as a um, practitioner or physio. The third thing is the format of the mentoring, and this can be very different depending on the clinic that you're looking at to work in. Um, most, most of the time, there'll be some form of case studies where you're picking out a patient from the week and going through that with your mentor, maybe a couple of those, but there also has to be practical skills. Um, you must uh, get your practical skills up to scratch, and it's even better if that is done with real patients not just practicing on another physio, um, or not just practicing on your mentor. There might be a self-directed learning component where you have some time each week to go through some content on your own and digest that at, at your own speed. Um, and then there might be some other form of um, catch up with your mentor that's not necessarily case study based, but just based on, or, or looking at how you're going overall in your role. So not necessarily to do directly with patients, but looking at the other aspects. How are you settling in? How are you feeling? How are you managing your time? Um, how are things going for you? Uh, and then this fourth thing I've written down in here is about feedback. Um, it's really important as a new graduate physio that you're able to get feedback from your mentor. Um, it's okay for you to make mistakes when you're starting out. That's normal and your mentor should, should tell you that that's okay. Um, you need to have an open and honest uh, communication channel so that you can get feedback from your mentor about how you're going and also that you're open to receiving feedback. Um, and, and I um, recommend that as a new grad physio that you ask for feedback. You know, how did I go with that patient? Um, how is my pressure when I'm doing this technique? 
um, you know, can you give me some feedback on that communication strategy about that complex patient? Um, the more that you are open to receiving feedback, the, the quicker you'll learn and, and the more competent you'll become in a shorter period of time. Uh, so there's four things uh, about mentoring for you to consider. I hope that helps you out and uh, see you in the next video.